friends, welcome to our mathematics program for grade 7. In today's session, we are going to look at order of operation, how to perform order of operation, why is it important. Together, we are going to look at bud mass, right? We, we will also see what happens when order of operation is not done correctly. Before going further, we are going to look at the four operations, right? Now, in mathematics, you've got four main operations. Now, these are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These are the four basic operations which you've been doing since primary. Now, what you may ask yourself is, why is that important? Why should we learn about order when doing maths, right? Let's take an example. When you wake up in the morning and you want to go to school, what do you do? So you wake up, you have shower, you have breakfast, and then you go to school. Very rarely, because it will be rather weird, if you get up in the morning, get out on the road, have shower there, and then breakfast at school, right? This is not done. Why? Because it's not in the proper order. Now, suppose that you are given this calculation. You've got 10 plus 2 times 3. That's what you need to do. Now, we'll take two students. Let's take Vic. So here comes Vic. Now, Vic says that, all right, I need to do that. I prefer to do addition. So I will do addition first. So he will do. 10 plus 2, that's 12, and 12 times 3, which is 36. Vic is very happy, he got an answer of 36. Then comes Meg. Now, Meg, she doesn't like addition, she prefers multiplication. So she says that, all right, I will do 2 times 3 first, right? So that will be 2 times 3, which is 6, 6 plus 10, which gives us 16. That's Meg. Now, we've got a problem. The problem is we are getting two answers for the same calculation. Who is right? Is it Vic or is it Meg? That's what we are going to see. Now, mathematicians have developed a set of rules that we call the bud mass. Now, when you do operations, dear friends, you need to follow these sets of rules. Now, what does it say? The B stands for brackets. That is, any calculation inside the brackets should be done first. So, the B comes first, that's for bracket. The second is orders. Now, what is orders? Orders are any numbers involving powers or square roots. That's come second. The, th the third one is division. Now, here you need to be careful because division and multiplication, they've got the same order. What does that mean? Suppose that you're given a question where you, where you have division and multiplication. Okay, what do you do? You do whichever comes first. That's what we call order of precedence. You've got multiplication. Next one is addition. And finally, subtraction. You need to be careful, dear friends, on division and multiplication because they have the same order of precedence and same for addition and subtraction. Right? So I say it again. Whenever you've got a set of rules, you need to apply bud mass. Now, let's try the exercise. That is 10 plus 2 times 3. Okay, if we apply bud mass, we are given this question, let's apply bud mass. Bud mass say, first we've, we have bracket, we don't have bracket in that. But what do we have? We have addition and multiplication. Therefore, multiplication comes before addition. So we'll do 2 times 3, which is 6, and 6 
plus the 10, which will be 16, right? So, who was right? Was it Vic or Meg? It was Meg. Now, what I want you to know now, dear friend, is that but mass may also be applied using calculators. That is, whether it is calculator or Excel, they use but mass as well. You just need to verify this answer. You type it on your calculator or on Excel. You will get exactly the same answer. Now, let's try another example. Suppose that now you've got 2 plus bracket 6 minus 4 times 5. What do you do? Bud mass, exactly. Now, what does bud mass say? You need to perform the bracket first. The bracket is 6 minus 4. Now, what is 6 minus 4? It is simply 2. So we are left with 2 plus 2 times 5. Now, again, when you have addition and multiplication, what do you do? Multiplication first. So that will be 2 plus 2 times 5, which is 10. Finally, you've got the addition, 2 plus 10, which is simply 12. Let's try a harder example. What happened with this one? You've got 8 plus 3 power 2 times 5 minus 35 divided by 7. Now, this one is a bit long, right? Don't be scared. We'll try to do it together. Now, remember, always apply but mass. What do we have there? We don't have bracket, right? But what do we have? We have orders. Exactly, orders. Now, remember, orders are powers or square root. So you've got 3 power 2, which is the order. So, 3 power 2 is simply 3 times 3, which is 9. So, we have 3 power 2. We have replaced it by 9. Therefore, we have 8 plus 9 times 5 minus 35 divided by 7. What do we do now? Well, we've got addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. According to but mass, we have both of them. Right? Remember I was telling you about order of precedence? You've got it here. So, what do we need to do first? Whichever comes first to the left. Now, to the left, you've got 9 times 5. So, we'll do multiplication first. 9 times 5, which is 45. So, we have 8 plus 45 minus 35 divided by 7. Next step, of course, you you will do the division. So the division will be 35 divided by 7. Here, just be careful. You never ever take minus 35 to divide by 7. All right? The negative is an operation. So you take 35 divided by 7, which is 5. Okay? So you've got 8 plus 45 minus 5. Now, what do we do? You've got addition and subtraction. Like I said, order of precedence, you do whichever comes first from left to right. That's it. So that will be addition first, 8 plus 45, which is 53, and 53 minus 5, you've got 48. That's the answer. A little bit harder now. Okay. You can see brackets everywhere. So, relax. We'll do it step by step. Now, you've got two brackets. Let's do the two brackets first. That's all. So, that will be minus 2 times 4, which is minus 8, right? 6 minus 4, which is 2. We are left with what? We are left with minus 8 divided by 2 plus 5. Okay? Now, when you've got... Division and addition, division and addition, we do division first. So that will be minus 8 divided by 2, which is minus 4, and minus 4 plus 
five, you've got one. Good. Here are some additional exercises for you to practice. Okay. You may seek the help of your teacher or your parents or even do group work at school. Why not? So these are for you to practice. Now, just a few observations. Addition and multiplication are commutative. Now, what does that mean, commutative? It simply means that when you change the order, right, the result will not change. Let me explain it. Let's say you've got 4 plus 5. You all know that 4 plus 5 is 9. But 4 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 4, which is also 9. So if ever we change the order, right, the answer remains the same. Same for multiplication. 4 times 5 is the same as 5 times 4, which is 20. However, subtraction and division are not commutative. Now, what does that mean? It means that when you change the order, okay, the result will change. Let's see. 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5 is what? It is simply minus 1. Okay? And 5 minus 4 is what? 5 minus 4 is 1. Minus 1 is not equal to 1. That's why we say that subtraction is not commutative. And the same for division. 40 divided by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. It is not the same as 5 divided by 40, which is 1 over 8. So, dear friends, today we have seen order of operations. Now, we have seen that order is very important when you perform any calculation. We've talked about the bud mass. Now, bud mass stands for brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. We have also seen that You've got commutativity, right? Multiplication and addition are commutative, while division and subtraction are not. At the end of this session, okay, what I want you to remember is that order of operation is very important in performing any calculation. Good? You need to apply your bud mass. That's all for now. I see you in the next program. Goodbye, dear friends.